I've never gone live in the morning. Just never done it. I thought I'd just do it right now. Let's see what happens. Let's see, let me see who's on. Because I've never, I've just never gone live. Let me take my vitamins. Let's go, it says, hang on, tell me where you're live. I've never gone live in the morning. I've never, I've never done that. Deborah Hubbard, oh my God, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. You are a bright light. You are. I have hair now, folks. That's crazy. I'm trying to like, oh, it's good. I'm getting high hair. I'm trying to work this out. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, everybody. Casey, oh my God, I never, I never come on in the morning, and my hair is crazy. I never come on in the morning. I decided to come on and see what's going on on IG in the morning. What's going on out there? Good morning. Good morning, kids. What's going on? How's life? Hi, hi, Declan Riley. How are you guys? I just did a show on anxiety. <laughs> I just, on um, my, a lot of help. Also, um... I had an anxiety attack. And I'm, I'm, I'm done now. But it happens like once every few months I get an anxiety attack. I will watch Bad Batch, and I will be doing the after show for it. Me and Ryan Nielsen, we'll do this. So follow JLJ Media. We're going to do the after show for Bad Batch, May 4th. Hi, Lounging with Tony. My hair is like, I'm, I'm Tony Moore actually now with the hair. But I had this hair back in the 90s. Also, it's a lot, it's a lot of gray in there, though. I'm like, is that lint? That's not lint, James. Am I, am I going blonde? No, it's not blonde. It is gray. It is gray. Yeah, I'm going to do every Star Wars show after show, probably. <laughs> uh, Declan, I'm probably going to. So yeah, so we're going, we're going to do, we're going to do Bad Batch. Yeah, we're going to do that, of course. And uh, Tony's like, I'm single white femaleing him. It's a mess. Though. I don't know what to do all this stuff. When the James Reynolds is going on. <laughs> ah, James Reynolds. Phone, phones are crazy. They're crazy. They're all crazy. Um, and they're expensive. I think the other day, we all need a phone, right? We all need phones. Like, we all need phones. Like, you need a phone to function, right? Why do you have to pay? Why are they so expensive? I know why they're expensive, because... Our phones now are like computers, right? Our phones are like computers now, so you're paying for all this stuff. But I'm thinking, but again, a phone, we need a phone. You need a phone to function. You know, I still have a landline. How many of you guys have a landline? I still have one. I pay like maybe $10 a month for it. But I think it should be free. Why am I paying for a landline? Like, I barely use it. I have it because I didn't want to get rid of it. It was it was tied to my alarm system before. Now it's not anymore. But I was like, but it's a phone. We all need a goddamn phone. I don't understand why we have to pay for it. It's like water. Why you gotta pay for water? We need water. I don't know. Just, these are these are things I think about sometimes in the morning. Hello, mommy Del So hello, Cesar, Cesar Espino. So you guys, I'm going through. Um, a fraud on my account. They're going to fix it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for them to fix it. But someone went online and uh, bought shoes. Using my card. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was upset, of course. It's happened before. But somebody went online and went on a shoe shopping spree and had fun buying shoes. Um, but they were not to me. I got rid of it. I do not use it anymore. I held on to it for the phone number. Oh, you got rid of it, Caesar. Aw. Ask the MP. I love James. I love you. I love you. I all these great people coming through here. I love you. I love you. I know come on in the morning. Um, yeah, you know. Someone someone told me when you're a celebrity, which I'm not a celebrity, um, it happens more and more. 
So, and I'm not even out there buying anything. I'm not even like online buying shit all the time. I don't even do that. But somehow they just got, they got in, they bought a bunch of shoes um, from some place in China and wiped out my account. But I'm getting it back. I'll be getting it off. I'll be getting it off. I mean, because it, wasn't, it clearly wasn't me. So we're going we're gonna to work it out. Brenda Dick said, no. I'm like, I'm not a celebrity. I just play one on television, no. Um, no I just, just, I'm just little old James Law Jr. Why, bother, why are people bothering me? I'm just minding my own business in Inglewood, California. Just trying, try, just trying to make a living. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't, nobody got time for a fraud. Shit. But yeah, my phone, yeah, I have my phone, um, I have it still. I have a landline. And I have a cute little phone, too, for my landline. You know, it didn't hurt. I had to use it a couple times once, actually, because my cell phone wasn't working. So it did come in handy. See, I'm like an old person now. What's how we do? We always hold on to things just in case. And I'm an organizer. I know better. But it's always like, just in case. I'll have this just in case. Then they die, and he never, they, they never used it. But every once in a while, the just in case does just come does happen. Just in case, it does. I'm a bag lady. I'm a total bag lady. I have a thousand different bags full of stuff. Larry Brigman. I didn't know Larry Brigman was still alive. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Sorry. Yes. Oh, God. The, someone's already brought up the brand new refrigerator TikTok. Oh, my God in heaven. That TikTok's going to haunt me. I've done 20 videos since then, and they're all doing pretty well. The videos are doing fine. But it's that brand new refrigerator. I did an eight-second TikTok that went viral around the world. I think it's at 10 million views at this point. Someone suggested I do a, I do bread refrigerator T-shirts. I said, I don't want to promote that. I don't want to promote it at all. I just, I just, oh my God, that's the wrong, that's the wrong TikTok that I wanted to go fake viral. <sighs> yes, I've had some folks actually contact me being their videos. It's just something of bread. I do Star Trek TikToks. I do organizing TikToks. I do, you know, your old when TikToks. But it was that TikTok that keeps, it's the, it's the TikTok that keeps on going. And I'm, you're a star. You're an icon. I'm like, I'm an icon because I, I got 10 million views on this, this video that I just, I don't even care about. Ugh. Let's say, I guess you can't choose, right? I know. It's total first world problems. I can't believe I have to go through this. I mean, it's, it's, it's dumb. I'm dumb. It's dumb. I don't know. I just, it's just like, ugh. I know. I mean, you know. That's what you get for doing something you think is kind of funny that no one's going to look at. And it's, that's, 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 I know it's a lesson. I know there's a bigger lesson in life out of this, right? Some crap like that. Because I always say this, and this is what I, this is what I get. This is what I, this is what I fucking get. This is what I get for running my mouth all the time. I always, you never know when the, the right pair of eyes sees your work. You never know what's, what you do may become popular. I say it all the time to my friends and my fellow content creators. Just do it and create it. You'll never know. All you need is just one pair and a, that happened to me. Ugh. The vocal frying. I'm not doing any, I'm not a savage. I'm not doing any dances. I'm not doing any, I'm not doing, no, that's the thing. I don't, I don't do crazy things. That's the whole thing. I don't, that's not what I do. And people want me to start doing stuff. I'm like, I'm not following it up. I'm not doing, I've gone viral three times since I've been on TikTok. And one of them was for being left-handed. And that one I didn't mind. That did a million. And I didn't mind that one because that was just me showing my left-handed notebook, which is what's over there. But I did the, the latest one that's getting some attention that I just did is a water fountain. Remember those? I did a video on a water fountain. That one's getting attention now. That one's starting to get pick up steam. Um, steam. <laughs> water, steam. Uh, I wasn't even trying to do that. Uh, and wa water fountains and like... I mean, I mean, they bought a water fountain. You drink out of it. Everyone drinks out of it. I remember as a kid, I used to see kids put their mouth actually on the, the, the spouts thing. I'm like, why would you do that? Were they afraid it was going to miss their mouth? 
I don't know what's going on. I'm like, you're supposed to run it over and you put your mouth in and the water somehow gets in your mouth. But it was just, I'm like, that's just, and now I just think about thinking about that dog. No, like, oh, it's so gross. The things we did as kids. And as kids, we didn't wash our hands all the time. We touched everything. We played on monkey bars or else played on. And we didn't, we didn't even do, we didn't even do, we didn't even do anything. We didn't even care. The 70s especially, we were, we were just dirty in the 70s. We were dirty in the 70s. My childhood was the 70s. We didn't, I mean, we touched everything. I had toys that were made out of metal. They didn't care about like, our, our safety when we were in the 70s when we were kids. I had Tonka trucks that were made of pointy objects and had metal and they'd rust. You, you sit outside, they rust in the rain. They get be half rusted and you play with them. Put them on my house, ride them, play with them. Nobody cared. I'm sure my parents and, and other adults were nearby or something, I guess. I really didn't care about that. We had broken toys we played with. I used to get splinters all the time. Who cared? My knee is all messed up because we used to ride down on our skateboards and skates on our knees. No, we didn't wear pads or anything. I think it helped our immune system is getting stronger, though. Here's the thing, uh, Declan. I, you're actually on to something. Um, I get my second Moderna shot on Friday, which I'm very excited to get. That's weird to say, of course, but I'm excited to get it. Um, the first shot I got... The only side effect I got was extreme fatigue, but I'm tired all the time, so I slept that weekend. But I had a sore arm for just a day, like literally maybe half a day, but it wasn't even that bad. And they're saying if you're older, the side effects are possibly less because our immune systems have been built. Hi, Evan Michael Lee. Hello, hello, hello. So they're saying that. So for me, I'm in my 50s, maybe finally being older actually works in my favor. So this next shot, there are a lot of people saying the second shot's worse, but I've had people who are around my age get it and have had very little side effects, like none. So I'm taking that weekend off, I'm taking this weekend off just in case, back to that just in case um, anything shows up. But I'm actually, I actually think that's going to happen. I have a feeling we'll be fine. The extreme fatigue, again, I was tired anyway. <laughs> I do 10,000 things anyway, so I was tired anyway. So I'm like, eh, maybe that was it. I, I, literally, I literally just slept the whole weekend off and on. I mean, I was so tired. I could keep my eyes open. They said it happens, but I didn't get any soreness. I didn't get the shakes. I didn't get, um, I didn't get anything like that. It was just I was very, I was, it was a point where I would sit up. And it's, and here comes Candace. Well, Tony would say, since James is older than a slice of bread, of course, you know, side effects. Yes. I'll take it. I'll take it. Being old, being one of the old guys is working in my favor. I'll, I'll take that shit. I'll, I'll take it. I don't know if any truth to it or not, but I do think you're right, Declan. Our, our immune systems, I mean, I was a kid. I mean, I didn't catch. Okay, so when I was a kid, when I was a young kid in the 70s, I got vaccinated for all the childhood diseases. So I didn't get any childhood diseases when I was a kid. None. Um, I got scarlet. I got a form of scarlet fever called Scarlet Tina. Hi, Doug. Doug Hess, star of Forgotten Hollywood on GLJ Media. My, hit, my latest hit show, which I'm just I'm still always amazed. I'm like, wow, it's a hit show. I didn't get any childhood diseases. I got Scarlet Tina. I got strep throat several times. Um, but other than that, I wasn't a sickly child. For most of my childhood, broke a few things here and there, but I was it was fine. Again, we did we didn't wash our hands all the time. We touched everything. We played in playgrounds. We swam in swimming pools. Um, you know, I, I think I think you couldn't get me in a swimming pool now. It ain't pre COVID. You could you could not get me in a public swimming pool. I mean it's like hi this is where piss and, and spit just, like, lives. And, and I just couldn't do it. I don't care if it's chlorine. I couldn't do it. But we didn't, we, didn't do, we didn't worry about that. Ran around barefoot. You couldn't pay me to walk this city of Los Angeles with no shoes on. No, that's not happening. Um, we did all this stuff in the 70s, and most of us came out fine. Well, you know, mentally maybe disturbed. But it came out fine. Then the 80s came. I was a little older, 
1980, I turned 11. By 1990, I was 21. So I had that whole strand in the 80s. Um, well, I did wear shoes. But we went out. You know, again, we were latchkey kids. We ate, I ate Hungry Man dinners that have like 10,000 grams of sodium in them. Like a, basically like eating a salt lick. Uh, I probably, if I had one now, I'd probably go in cardiac arrest. Um, ate whatever food you wanted, chili cheese fries from Tommy's, whatever, just ate everything we wanted. Didn't care. Um, that's when I started working. I was going to school. Um, I started partying. And it was the 80s. I did a few things in the 80s, you know, I'll just do say. And it was just like this whole, I survived that. I survived AIDS. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. I didn't catch anything. Uh, I've never had a, an STD or STI. Never had anything like that stuff. I did get mumps as an adult. How stupid was that? I was 29 years old. I have a feeling my cousin, baby cousin, gave it to me from visiting him in New York. And I had mumps. And that was scary because they kept telling me, oh, my, James, you, have, you shouldn't have a child as disease as an adult. All these complications could happen in your life. So that was a scary time. We were, as an adult, in the 90s, we were uh, exposed to whooping cough. We had to register with the Alameda County and San Francisco County. I mean, it, was, it was crazy. So, like, little things like that. But I was never really a sickly person in terms of stuff like that. I kind of made it through to now. So, I don't get a flu shot. I don't think I've ever had the flu. I just don't, I don't, see, I don't get stuff like that. I get the weird shit like Bell's palsy. That's what I get. I don't get Bell's palsy light. I get Bell's palsy heavy. Let's make your face paralyzed for most of the year. Sure, let's just do that and give you brain issues. And sure, let's do that. That's what I get. But I don't get like, you know, I didn't, I didn't get like, you know, I don't get flus. I really get colds. I get, I get colds here near San Francisco because in San Francisco, like many cities with public transportation, I rode the subway all the time. And in San Francisco, it's called BART, or there's Muni. There's two subway systems. And I rode those to work every day. I rode them everywhere. And again, never wore gloves, never wore masks, touched everything, people coughing on the air and, and all kind of stuff. So I was so it's so it's interesting that that's something that I went through. And we would get and my roommate and I we would get sick a lot, just like get colds and stuff. But I never got the flu. I rarely get ever ever get a fever. Um, I may get the stiffly nose, watery eyes, a little achy. I don't really get that stuff. So I never got. I don't get. I just got, I got flu shots back in the day. I stopped years ago. So I just I just don't get them. Like I don't I don't I don't get them. And then, um, but this but this Moderna this whole vaccine I thought it's a little more serious for me. And I just thought I'll do it. It gives me some freedom. I'll just do it. I don't care. I'll do it. But it's up to you what you want to do and at your comfortable level, but what you want to do with that. But I thought I'd come on. I, I'd never come on. I see some great folks come through here. I never come on in the mornings, ever. It was never, ever, 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 ever. So it's kind of nice seeing you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm going to get off. Oh, hi, Tracy. I'm about to get off. I was on for a little while already, but I'll come on again. I, my, my show is, I, I stopped doing my show, and people were kind of confused about that. My late night show, Talk All James Jr., is done. I retired it. I may come on sometime late at night and maybe bring it back a little bit here and there, um, but my life is just so, just incredibly busy uh, now because things are opening back up and there's more stuff going on. I don't have the, I just don't have, I'm tired. <laughs> I guess I going to have to do it. Uh, but I miss you guys. I miss the late night. That was a lot of fun doing it, and I'm glad I did it. And you can watch all episodes on YouTube that I have on YouTube. And I did over, over 100 some shows. It was great. So, but everybody, have a great day today. Um, and try to be too anxiety-ridden.